We bring y'all another real estate video, man. What's the most important part of the house to you? The kitchen. You can flip a house in the worst neighborhood as long as you buy it at the right price. So you don't want to put high-end appliances in an average area because you're going to spend too much money on them. Never, that ever give anybody a deposit. Oh. Agent in your area that has resources that can get you contractors. $65,000 invested. They're going to get a... Forty thousand dollar return. From Van to Pimpin. <laughs> Thirty thirty-five thousand dollar profit, depending on what you can sell the home for. What's going on, fam? It's your boy Al. Y'all tune back in with them Jennings boys, man, and we back with another video for y'all, man. Make sure y'all stop what y'all doing. Go hit that subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell, man. Like this video, and we're gonna keep running these numbers on up, man. Today I'm gonna bring y'all another real estate video, man. We real well overdue for a real estate video, man. I'm gonna show y'all a house that we a project that we working on that we flipping. I'm gonna give y'all numbers on how much the project costs, how much we plan on profiting off the project, and the, and the revenue you can make off flipping a house, man, in this real estate game. So we just pulled up to the project now. We in Dayton, Ohio, as you can see. Uh, on one of these last videos, I tried to bring y'all to this house before to show y'all the before pictures. I don't know if y'all remember. Y'all had to go back. We couldn't get inside because we didn't have a key, but we got access to the inside now, and we've been working on it. You can see it's new windows in there, and uh, you see the dumpster out here. So yeah, stay tuned, man. I'm going to show y'all what's going on. All right, fam. We got one of the top 10 realtors in Dayton, Ohio here with us. She is actually looking over this project here. She's the one that found this property, and she's basically the one that's uh, knowledgeable and showing us everything on how to flip this house. So what can you tell us about this property here? So this property, this is another one of the rare situations where we bought the property from a wholesaler. You know, a wholesaler is a middleman, so you're paying a premium. So this property, it, we paid 30000 for it, had to give the wholesaler 5000 so paid thirty five dollars just to get into it. But in situations like we're in now where inventory is real low and there's not anything out here, you have to start willing and dealing with wholesalers. So remember, we'll, we'll show you the some of the before pictures. It's come a long way since we first um, started. Just doing the exterior paint alone made a tremendous difference. Put in the new windows. So this is a single family home, right? Single family, three bedroom, one bath. Um, basically had to completely gut it. Had to treat it, and, you know, had mold in it. This house sat empty for years. Redesigned the whole kitchen, put the new gray shaker cabinets in just to give it a little pop. Every now and then, if the budget's right, it's worth paying a little more higher end for the for your materials just to make it pop. Especially if you're gonna sell it for top dollar. So we can see that um, we still got some ways to go, but definitely taking form retiled gut it to the complete bathroom retiled it gotta go in still do some grouting is this uh what kind of tile is this is this marble is this uh porcelain it's is porcelain it? okay it looks like marble but it's porcelain it's actually much more durable than marble okay so why is it important what's the most important part of the house to you the kitchen. The kitchen and... and that's why I said it, it's worth putting a little more into the kitchen 
to bring the value out of the house. Okay, so selling point. So if you're getting a property, your selling point is most of the time the kitchen. Absolutely. Okay. But the bathroom is the second most important area because think about it, you spend most of your time in the kitchen, the kitchen or the bathroom. the bathroom. Okay. This is three bedrooms. This is the smallest bedroom. Don't let small bedrooms scare you that much because typically first time home buyers usually have small kids and they can compromise with one small bedroom. Okay. What's the internet for? You got internet here. So the internet is for the cameras, for the security. It's worth having, paying the internet and putting security just so you can monitor your house. You're not going to be here all the time. Plus, you're not going to be hands-on with your contractor. So you want to be able to see when they're coming, go on, what they're doing, and be able to monitor your materials. Okay. Best, basically, invest in your investment. Exactly. Okay. Three bedrooms. That was one bedroom. Here's the other bedroom. New windows. What's unique is the master actually goes out to the enclosed patio. So we'll put new. We'll probably put some French doors in there to make it look more contemporary. Okay, so there's doors that go out to this one. I didn't even yeah. notice that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're back to the kitchen. Um, the one question I had for you was appliances. What do you suggest for appliances on someone fixing the house? Do they go with the most expensive appliances to try to help sell the home? Do they try to budget? Um, so what you do gotta, they do? You got to factor in your area. So in the area, this is the average area. So you don't want to put high-end appliances in the average area because you're going to spend too much money on them. So everybody wants stainless steel. So you're going to go with a mid-level stainless steel. Okay, and then I see these lines above everything. Is these lines here for a reason so above the cabinets? That was a oops. So make sure, just don't hire anybody. And I say this all the time. Make sure they know exactly what they're doing. Initially, the cabinets were set incorrectly. They weren't at the right height. So they had to come back down and be reset. So basically, you almost have to pay extra. or Not pay extra, but... Make sure that your contractors, you, you understand their experience. Look at the work that they've done before. Just don't take their word for it. Go and actually don't look at just pictures. Go and say, hey, I want to go to one of your properties that you're currently working on or that, or that you just completed. If it's okay, if we can go see that rehab because you can't take anybody's word anymore. There's so many people out here getting scammed and never, that, ever give anybody a deposit. Okay, that was my next question. If, if, a, if, a, if they ask for a deposit, are you paying for your work before, in the middle, or after? And keep in mind, depending on your situation, I always recommend you go buy your own materials. So if I'm buying my own materials, what am I paying you a deposit for? I'm going to pay you as you go and okay. pay you for the work completed. So that basically saves you from, that's your, if you, why would I pay you if I'm paying for my materials? Right. What's the I'll pay you, for? right. I'll pay you when the job is complete. Yeah. And you phase it out. You know, most, most thorough contractors be like, no problem. I'm going to knock it out and get paid. But, you know, some of the shifty ones are going to try to haggle you. Then that should be a red flag within itself. They want so much money down because. They either really don't have time to take on your job and they're trying to squeeze you in and then they're going to prolong the job, but you've already given them the money. So now you're stuck with them. Okay. So there's a lot of, there's a lot of tips and tricks that I got years of examples I could share with you. Okay. So another selling point for this property is going to be this enclosed patio area. So this just brings that, more living space to the home. So it's not going to be back out four seasons but it, it'll be a three season living space you can come out here you know drink your coffee smoke your cigars or whatever your pleasure is and it, it just gives you more living space another key is the garage even though it's a detached garage it's still a very nice two-car garage so we had to go ahead and put new siding and bring it back to life as well because you know having a garage is a very valuable people always say well how much value is it to have a garage well you don't want to park your car outside you don't want it to be in the element so having a two-car garage is a, a huge plus i understand that's an absolute deal breaker for me a house without a garage 
wouldn't even work for me, especially if you're a car person or if you got if you want extra storage or just anything. I know a garage comes in handy. So I remember last time we were out here, it was a bunch of roof shingles out here and we couldn't even get to the back door without stepping on nails and roof shingles. So I'm guessing you had to put a roof on this yeah, home. Roof, like I said, this was a complete rehab. We had to put the siding, the windows, the roof, kitchen completely gutted, bathroom completely gutted. This yard is gonna, I mean, this yard is gonna, it's gonna eventually be a selling piece too because it's a really nice size yard. It just needs some TLC. Okay, so anybody that's looking at a home, and say they look at a home and they can just obviously tell by looking at it, it needs a new roof. Uh, a single family home this size, what could they look at paying for a roof for someone that doesn't know anything about rehabbing a home? So complete tear off this size. This is like a thousand square foot house. Um, I mean, you're gonna, it depends on your resources. That's why it's key to get with a agent in your area that has resources that can get you contractors but reasonable rates because if you call somebody off the internet or one of these you know company big companies they would have probably charged about twelve thousand dollars for this roof we got it done for half that price okay And one last thing, a lot of people, they go back and forth whether to get a dumpster, not get a dumpster. When you're doing a major renovation where you're gutting out everything, it's worth paying the money to go ahead and have and rent a dumpster. Because all the back and forth hauling stuff, even if you got your own trucks, it's, it's just too expensive and too time consuming. The lines at the dumps are usually long. It's just much more convenient to have your dumpster here on site. Okay, make the process easier, save you time and save you money. Yep. Okay, so another question I have when you're choosing a home to flip, the neighborhood and the surrounding homes. I mean, you can flip, you can flip a house in the worst neighborhood as long as you buy it at the right price. So it's all about, you know, Numbers. like every situation is different. That's why you, you have to understand the comps in the area. You got to understand the sales in the area. And you got to understand what your exit plan is. Are you going to get it, rehab, fix it, you know, flip it? Or are you going to hold it and rent it? So it's so many different scenarios to make money in real estate. You just got to, depending on that area, if you're in an area that's a high rental area, keep in mind when you flip it, you're going to probably sell it to an investor, not a homeowner. Investors are going to pay less for a house than a homeowner would. So there's all these factors that you need to consider as you're putting together your budget. So basically it's one big numbers game. The math has to math for it to make sense. Definitely. Okay, so the million dollar question that I know all of you guys want to know is the numbers on this home. What can you make off flipping a home like this home right here? And what are your plans on this home? What do you expect to make off of flipping this home? So, like I said, you know, worked with a wholesaler, got, end up spending thirty-five for to acquire the property. We're looking to put another thirty into the property. Okay. Um, I think we've got past all of the hiccups, so it's safe to say it'll be right around thirty. So we'll be sixty-five in, and I'm going to list it for one thirty. So sixty-five in, you're going to list it for one thirty. So you're planning on making about fifty-five thousand profit if you can, depending on the offer you get. Yeah, but keep in mind that 55 is before all your like real estate expenses and property taxes and things of that nature. So, so property taxes and real estate costs for people that don't know anything about it. What is that going to cost them on a house like this one for it's trying to sell it for around 130? So you're gonna you're gonna sell the property. Um, the the real estate commission is going to be six percent. Okay. Then, depending on what county you're in, there's county taxes, and then there's also property taxes. So I think the property taxes on this house are like $1,600 a year. So you're going to pay taxes up until the day that you sell the property. Okay, so on a six-month turnaround, it's probably about half of that. Exactly. But then your county charges you a county transfer tax. Then you're going to have title insurance, because you, whoever buys the house is going to want to do a title search and get title insurance to ensure that they're buying a property that doesn't have any defects. So roughly, I would say just estimate another 3% toward your additional expenses. 
So nine okay. percent of what the sale price is. Okay, so round it up basically about ten percent. So anywhere from ten to thirteen thousand if you're at one hundred and thirty thousand. So that would take your profit from fifty five to about forty thousand. Yep. Okay, so home like this, um, what's the turnaround on this home? Um, I mean, this this was a complete rehab, so this is like a six month project. So, six month project with um, sixty sixty five thousand dollars invested, they're gonna get a forty thousand dollar return. So that is that sounds great to me. Sounds awesome. Now keep in mind, if you're more diligent and you got a good crew, it could be done in way less time. But if you got other projects going on, if you're managing other properties. And so you're pulling people off of this property to go work another issue. That's when the that's when the time starts to lapse. So that's why I said you know six months. Okay. So you hear that, guys? These are the numbers here. These are real life numbers, man. These aren't any made up numbers. This is real life numbers. This house here, we're flipping it now. So any of you guys that's interested in getting in the real estate game, that's looking for a home to flip, or just have any kind of questions. This is the best person right here to get in contact with. So where can they find you at? Sellwithstrickland.com. Sellwithstrickland.com. You hear that, guys. So make sure you guys stop what you're doing. Go uh, like this video here. Um, if you want to see more of these videos, let me know. If there's anything in the video that we didn't cover that you want to know about, if you got any questions, comment and down below. Go down and comment. I will respond to everyone's comments. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, man, make sure you stop what you're doing. Go hit that subscribe button, hit that post notification bell, that way you get notified whenever we drop in these real estate videos, bringing y'all this free game. Now we, uh, we're wrapping up at this house and we're heading to another location, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Alright fam, we have made it to the next property, I don't know if y'all remember this property or not. Uh, we came over here before, when this property had first uh, got started, um, it's a full rehab. It's a two bedroom, single family home. Uh, they didn't put siding on here. They didn't put the fences up. Um, like it's a new roof on here, a steel roof too. So you don't see too many houses with steel roofs. So this house on a, sits on the corner right here. I don't know if I remember last time we went in here, there wasn't no floor in here or anything. So we went straight in, look straight down to the floor. What's going on fam? How you doing man? I'm doing all right. Long journey. Man. Long journey. <laughs> yep, this the owner right here, y'all. So, yeah, he the one that's done did this full rehab on this home. I see you put a new roof on here, didn't you? Yeah, brand new steel roof. What made you go to steel roof? Just more efficient. More, more efficient. Longer, last longer, and it ain't as bad as they as I thought. Like when it rained, you barely hear it. Okay. Yeah, was brilliant. it more expensive or was yeah, it? It's a, lot, it's a little bit more expensive, but I ain't got to replace it for another 25 years. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See y'all? Yeah. The little stuff you learn. The steel roofs last way longer. Yeah, it's nice though. So you got this almost done or is it done or you it's still got, got some? got some little touch-ups, little the minor work. Okay. Minor finishing here. Well, shit, let's go in here and see what it looked like now. From I remember last time, it wasn't no floor yeah, in here. From Bando to Pimpin. <laughs> Ah uh, yeah, everything look new in here. They even got the TVs in here already. Yeah, last time we last time we came in through the back, and we could only come to about where that stove was at, and it wasn't no floor in here. So now we got everything in here: washer and dryer, all new appliances in here. This a uh, two bedroom. Two bedroom. Okay, so two and a half bath. So is it a bedroom here and a bedroom there, or bedroom here, bedroom upstairs? Okay, bathroom. so one there and one upstairs. So that must be a bathroom there. Yeah. Bathroom with the bar door. Okay, before, that's a. Before we go to the bathroom, let's talk about the kitchen. So these were unfinished cabinets, right? Yeah, they was unfinished, and I painted them blue. So in the last property, it was finished cabinets. They were much more. They were probably. They was probably like 30% more expensive than these. But you yeah. can see how he took unfinished cabinets and painted them. So for our people that don't know what you mean by unfinished and finished, that means you purchased these and they just weren't painted yet? Yeah. Correct. Okay, so you had to, per you had to get them installed. Cheaper, a lot cheaper. A lot cheaper. If water get in there without ceramic coating it, it'll mess up easier. So I took the epoxy, put it on the cabinet, on the butcher block and underneath. 
And that, that's another thing. So the butcher block, a lot of people are doing this butcher block now yeah. instead of doing like... So what is a butcher block? You're looking at it. <laughs> yeah, it's, like a, it's like a cutting up, like a raw material they just use to okay. cut up. It's wood. It's raw wood. Yeah. But he went a step cold. further and coated it with the epoxy to make it more shiny and pop. Okay. So basically you cut some of your expenses by buying the unfinished cabinets and painting them yourself. Taking the time yeah. to paint them and yourself. The and the countertops. And the yeah. countertops. Okay. Opposed to buying the finished ones that come with the countertop and everything, you just install them. I saved about two thousand dollars. Okay, that's a lot of money to save right there, two thousand dollars. And I, I added the money back into like the new nicer sink. Sink. Yeah, nicer sink. Okay, Spalsive. upgraded. Nice handles on the cabinets. Okay. See, see, he put. The expensive you did. Expensive. You I almost did. thought it was. I almost thought it was touch screen. <laughs> Ah, okay. So you, yeah, okay. You hit it and then light up. You can see what's in there. That's sweet. I ain't never seen one of those. So you said this is the bathroom over here, and you put the barn doors. What made you go with the barn doors? I don't see too many barn doors. Just to save space. Cause save it's space. Okay. Yeah, it's tight door. So instead of swinging up, swinging out, it slides Sorry. in, y'all. I like how you put the mirror on there too, man. Both sides. Got yeah. Mirror. Okay. So the inside, it's got a mirror as well. Okay. Yeah, full mirror is always good, y'all. People love their full mirrors. So we got a full bathroom here, brand new tub, Bluetooth floors. Chair. I love the big uh, LED the big LED mirror. Yeah, that mirror huge. I know for me personally, I think mirrors help sell homes for sure. And it gives the illusion that the room is bigger. Bigger, yeah, it feels way bigger in here than probably what it is. You said the upstairs is the second bedroom. So is this the is this the master bedroom upstairs, or would you consider? Okay, so the master is upstairs. We're gonna look at the master first, y'all. It wasn't even upstairs last time. Nah, it wasn't nothing up here last time. And I see you got a. This is like a hot water tank. Yep, tankless hot water tank. Tankless hot water tank. Okay, that's new. And this is upstairs, so no utility room downstairs. It's all upstairs. Furnace. furnace right there. Brand new furnace, brand new hot water tank. So this room basically got two rooms within it. Yeah. It's got like a lounge area out here. Mm -hmm. And then it's got like a private, the private room right here. Does light work? Nah, the light don't work. So this is an older style room like the... Uh, Older homes got uh, where the roofs is a little bit lower yeah. and they uh, slanted. This bathroom at least right here. Adding some privacy to it. Yeah, a little bit of privacy. Cause you probably get a door right here, maybe. Okay. You want? <laughs> yeah. Or. I mean, depending on who bought a house, if it's some some player, a not a curtain eye. <laughs> <laughs> the expensive route, like if I if they say somebody bought this home and they wanted to to, to to spruce it up a little more, make it look better, I try to get some kind of custom glass or something to go right here. Glass. That'll look yeah, that'll look crazy. Yeah. Glass, yeah, but if it, if you bought a home for yourself and you want to go that extra mile, yeah. I, I would yeah. say just leave it open and let let yeah. the next person figure that out. I was yeah. thinking just to drive all that so whoever over there won't see at least. Because that's going to make it look smaller if you yeah. close it up. The glass, I'm keeping from where it, And you could do like a dark glass suit or you still can't see in there. A tenant glass or something like that. Yeah. That would be perfect for that right there. So, yeah, this is like. But it's, it's a tight build, but it's still a lot of space. Yeah. A space for some the average person would have been like, Oh, let's not do anything with this space. And you no, turn this it into a, a yeah. whole master suite. Yeah, this is definitely a master suite. Like I said, you got a lounge room right here, and then you got the full bedroom right up here. So let's go down and take a look at the other bedroom and see how big the other bedroom is. I sold a house like this in, in uh, off of Germany, on Denison. It was just like this. Okay, so here go the second bedroom right here, y'all. 
and this is what a queen size bed yeah, just to give y'all just to give y'all idea how big the room is queen size bed as you can see he got the security system in here as well to uh protect his property y'all invest in your property invest in your investment this is a bathroom or a closet closet, closet. Okay, closet right here, y'all. Nice size closet. And is this supposed to be a fan? Yes, yeah, it's a fan. Okay. It retracts, it retracts when you turn it on and off. Okay. Yeah, I ain't never seen a fan like that before. That's most definitely new. But little stuff like this, y'all, is what will make your house elegant, will help sell your house, is the appliances you put in here. And I'm, I'm sure this appliance probably didn't even cost nothing crazy, did it? Yeah, it was like 200 200 that ain't too bad. Yeah. Yeah. One other thing I wanted to point out, because a lot of people now are like going crazy with all the tile in the bathroom. And depending on what area you're in, yeah, that, that might be warranted. But see how he put like a nice vanity with a nice vanity top a nice floor in, but then just put a standard surround in the tub, didn't put all the tile. So that saved a lot of money not doing the tile right. in the tub area, but it still looks really nice. Right. So I'm sure this mirror wasn't cheap. No, I called it on Facebook more, but actually for 202. Ah, yeah, that's a steal. Class go to. That's a steal. Yeah. It was about an $800 mirror though. Okay, so we didn't show y'all the property, y'all. So we didn't show y'all the property, y'all. And I know what y'all want to know, man. Y'all want to know the numbers, man. Y'all want to know what y'all can make off flipping a house, or if y'all want to invest in a house, y'all want to know the numbers. So on this property here, what you think your profit gonna be? What you think you're gonna list this house for? I started out with a goal to put in like thirty-five thousand, so I'm about forty thousand in it. Okay, so you're about five thousand over what you projected. So always, yeah, always. Whenever you start with a number, pad it because you're gonna always go over. I've never seen anybody go under. Yeah, I don't know. I want to be the highest selling house in the neighborhood, though. I want to make sixty thousand off of it. Okay. Profit. So that's ninety-five. 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 Okay. We, we we might be able to start at ninety five, but you might not walk away with the ninety five. Anything close to making any money back is good with me. Okay. Because you got to keep. I mean, make sure you do your comps and understand the area you're in. Because you you buy a house, you think, oh, like you said, this was a bando. This mm -hmm. was a public nuisance. So he started from nothing, put money into it. He put just enough money into it where he's still gonna make a good profit. But I see a lot of people who are like, oh, I got this house for nothing, put way too much money into them, and then they're in an area where the house isn't going to appraise, and they're not going to get all their money back. Okay. Or at least they get the money back, but they're not going to get the property they wanted. Okay, so you said before you even purchase a house, you should do run the numbers, mm -hmm. see what you can That's make. That's the first thing. Yeah, see how much you're going to have to put into it. Look in the neighborhood, see what the houses in the neighborhood are going for, and see what you're going to be able to sell this home for after you get done rehabbing it. Exactly. So you saying uh, you got about forty five in it? You want to be around ninety five? So you at about as the same as the last property you went to, around a forty thousand dollar profit after it's all said and done, minus the the fees and stuff that we explained last time. So you might still be at like a thirty five, thirty thirty five thousand dollar profit, depending on what you can sell the home for. Yeah. It's worth it. I look forward to my next project though. Okay. And what was the time frame on this project for you here? I did this one in four months. Four months, okay. So the last project was six months. This project so is four people, months. So people were talking about time frames. This was a complete rehab, but he put the time and work in, did it in four months. Okay. Got you. So did you contract all the work? Did you do some of the work yeah, yourself? It was all different contractors. All different contractors, yeah, okay. Trying to get the best work for the money. Trying to cut a little corners, but all permits was full. Everything was up to for permit permits. Okay. Got to be up to code. So the permits cost and the code cost. So as long as you meet the codes, you'll be all right. Okay. That's look good. The fan, you attract it. Yeah. 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 Ye
Ah, uh, you did. I didn't know what y'all meant when y'all said that. So it don't even. Cause when we walked in, I didn't see no fan. So when you say retract, them don't even like no fan no more. So retract in yeah, when it's done. That's crazy. All right, y'all. Make sure y'all stop what y'all doing, man. Go like this video. Um, if you ain't already subscribed, go hit that subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell. That way y'all know when we're dropping these videos, man. Bringing y'all this free game. If y'all want to learn more about the real estate stuff, like I said before, go in the comments. Ask us what you want to learn. Whatever we didn't cover that, that you want to know about, ask in the comments, man. We'll get back with you.